number one, Dominic Wilkins of the Atlanta Hawks, his second attempt in the first round. Oh, Rod, a reverse, two-handed. I think many people thought that uh, Dominique should have won it last year, and he's going to show us a lot of things today like that. He has great spring in his legs, really a showman. They call him the human highlight film as Clyde the Glide Drexler, former member of the Five Slamma Jamba at the University of Houston, that fraternity, now with the Portland Trailblazers. Here comes Clyde the Glide. Clyde, a one-handed reverse at 6'7". He's the ideal height to impress the judges in the slam dunk. And I want to tell you, Rod, you know I'm one of them. <laughs> Uh, here's Michael Jordan of the Chicago Bulls. One of the hot candidates for Rookie of the Year honors as he slams it home. Michael starts easy. I'm going to give him an eight on that, too. I know he's capable of a lot more. At 6'6", he can do an awful lot of things midair. Here's Daryl Griffith of the Utah Jazz. Six-foot-four guard, nice. the smallest member of the competitors here in this action. What a beauty. A reverse two-handed while time, passing the it. Player. The basket, he stuffs it down back. And now the local favorite, Terrence Stansbury, a rookie from Temple. Woo! 360. How about that? Stansbury filling in for Charles Barkley, who couldn't make it due to personal reasons. Stansbury was very nervous before this event. Boy, look at the fans. They absolutely love this young man. 6'5", we look again. Watch the first 360. Square away and jams him home. One-handed. Rod, I'm going to give him a 10 on that. That was super. Here's Orlando Woolridge of the Chicago Bulls. Reverse hammer shot. He is so athletic. Orlando is showing at 6'9 how athletic he can be. And again, that's one of the criteria, and he showed it off there. This is the second attempt. He gets a 49. Here's Dominic Wilkins with a reverse slam. Dominic is unbelievable. Every dunk he seems to execute is done with such power. Tremendous effort. Absolutely great, great player. They call him the human highlight film. Rod, that's a 10 for this judge. Somebody's disagreeing, though. <laughs> How about my, Michael Jordan on this slam? Michael Jordan. I think this kid is one of the future great, great star, the all-around ability of a Dr. J, a Larry Bird. He's already being compared, and this is first year. Here's Terrence Stansbury. Watch this. Bounce it, catch it, and slam it. <laughs> Boy, this guy's doing some job. He was nervous, as I mentioned, before the uh, competition began, but he doesn't look it. He looks like he's right into it. All right, here's Michael Jordan of the Chicago Bulls. 6'6", six, rookie. Six, slam. Beautiful. Out of sight. Well, he put that ball, he locked it in his wrist, went in, and then from the side, dunked it home, and then waked up into the crowd. Right, I'm going to give him a 10 on that. Look at these kids down here. They're his coaches. They're going to tell him what to do. His consultants. <laughs> Come on, give him the back They want to see a reverse. Terrence Stansbury, fine rookie. Here he comes, 6'5". Oh, goes. man, he got the reverse. <laughs> right, as a judge, I got to call that one a 10. Once again with Dominic Wilkins. A Whoa. hammer with the right hand. Boy, that's a 10 to me. I may be too generous today, but that was a super move. Power. Soaring in the air, a one-handed windmill. Hey, one thing, this guy is going after this thing like he really wants to win it. Here's a perfect man, the old doctor, Julia Serving. Two basketballs. Woo! <laughs> Take that. <laughs> right and a left. That's creativity. He does it with so much ease that sometimes his score is low. I really believe that. He makes this look simple. This is hard to do. Here comes a rookie, everybody's favorite. Oh! That's a nice one. He put that ball out in front of him, John, let it go, and then caught it. Brought it back down, back up, and slammed it with both hands. Now, Larry Nance, last year's champion, looking for the $12,000 first prize. Off the glass, he slams it off. Power dunk by Larry Nance. He's 6'10". That looks pretty easy for Larry Nance. In Phoenix, Arizona, they call him Leap for Larry, and you can see why. He's going to attempt the same. Look at him hold that ball. Look at him hold that ball. Same play, John. Watch this. Right hand. Woo! Bam! Beautiful move by Michael Jordan. Michael a one-handed reverse. I'm calling that a nine, just like that young man. <laughs> <laughs> they got all the fans hey, here. we agree. Loving this slam dunk competition. I have on the scoreboard. All the judges agreed. Five judges. Dominic Wilkins Woo! with a sidewinder. Flying down the middle, turned his body, and just really slammed it through with both hands. Dominique is having no letdowns today, you know? All right, the doctor's ready. This time, no bounce. Watch him take off. Take that right in your face. That's his best stuff. Julius Irving. The ambassador of goodwill in the NBA. 
Perhaps the best in that category. He has certainly been just super for the NBA. Let's see how he, this affects his creativity. I say it was affected. I do too. I think you're right. It's pretty good, but there you go. You can see that, by his fan club, they're not that excited. No, Michael Jordan, by the Chicago Bulls. In the first round, he went out there with warm ups on him. Look at this. Now he's putting down tape on the foul line. Almost the length of the court he's going to go for. Here comes Michael Jordan. Five. Woo! Slam it. They love it. So does Michael Jordan. And his foot was honest to that tape. That's a 10 to me. I'm not a judge, but I gotta give him 10. <laughs> Watch again. Take it to him, Mike. The final two Michael Jordan and Dominic Wilkins. Now, here is Michael Jordan with a slam. Not one of his best of the day. No, Dominique won the coin flip and he wanted Jordan to go first. I'm gonna give Michael a 9 on that. Regular 35th annual NBA All Star game. Dominic, oh, backhand, two hand. Judges face their scoring on athletic ability, creativity, and style, and we saw it there. Dominic Wilkins, winner twelve thousand dollars, the runner-up seven. Michael Jordan would have reversed. He was down four points going into that dunk. And Dominic Wilkins, you must remember, will go last. Now here he He's talking to Isaiah Thomas there on the right. Isaiah, a self-appointed advisor. <laughs> Look at this, he slams it off the glass, goes up, gets his, turns his back, and then slams it home. Boy, that was creative. Over the head slam. I'm calling that one a 10 for Wilkins. We'll take another look. Up high off the glass. This will be a different angle, and watch this reverse. What timing! Absolutely fantastic. Comedy gets another shot right behind him. There he goes. Oh, <laughs> spectacular! That was a great one. I love it when they lock that ball in the wrist, bring it down to belt height, and then come back up to the sidewinder and slam it in. He actually passed the basket before he let it go down. He only needs about, I think, a 40 to win this. Here he goes. I oh, think that'll do man. it. <laughs> Creative, what an athlete, and a plenty of style for Dominique Wilkins. That's a 10 to me. Very confident. He has won it. Dominic Wilkins of the Atlanta Hawks, who was in the competition a year ago. Watch this, his final dunk, and he hammers it home. So Dominic Wilkins of the Atlanta Hawks, the new 1985 slam dunk champion. I don't know about you, Bill, but I'm jealous of these guys. First of all, why don't you talk to the, the runner-up, Michael Jordan. Well, you know what I really liked about this, uh, Michael, was that you go to the last competition, and you're down, and you come up with a 49. That shows me something. I love it. Well, I think the whole thing is fun. Uh, you know, just for me to participate, I think that was, you know, a good thing for me, and I, I really enjoyed it. Although my fellow North Carolinian over here won, I'm happy that he stayed in North Carolina. All right, thanks a lot, Michael, and I don't want to wish you good luck because it's better to be good than lucky. <laughs> Terrific effort, and of course our champion, Dominique Wilkins. Dominique, we talked last year. I really felt that uh, you deserved to be in the finals last year, and you finally made it. How does it feel? Well, it feels great. Last year, I feel like you. I feel like I should have been in the finals, but I was just having a lot of fun. This year, I wanted to come out strong from start to finish. And I had guys on the side who really was telling me different things to do, and I, hey, I was going out for everything I was doing. Well, you were really getting up high. Why did you decide to go second in the finals? Well, I just want to see what Michael would do, and if he would get a great score, I was going to try to do something that really could top his score and get the crowd really enthused.